The Roadrunners are ecstatic for the 55th season of volleyball here at MSU Denver. They are striving to keep pounding on that stone until the job is done. And there it is! And a jubilation for the Roadrunners, a title for the Roadrunners and Coach Jenny Glenn and her team and staff. After winning the RMAC tournament last season, the women are not yet satisfied and are hungry to pursue more this season. It's a surreal moment, honestly, like for so many years, since I've been here, we've literally sat on the sideline watching another team receive that. Um, it was super exciting, you know, like, especially like being at the other, at the other end of that and just finally being able to get that victory and hold up that trophy was an amazing moment. There is so much hype around this team and if you step into the Auraria Event Center, you will quickly find out why. This group of girls are ready to have a successful season and have been fixing the little things during the summer to do so. I am super excited. I think that um, the international trip has a, created a really cool unity bond throughout this team that I haven't felt before, so I think it's about to be the best season yet. <laughs> the Roadrunners lost two right side All-Americans, and the question on everyone's mind is who will step up in that role for 2023? So we've had a lot of offensive production from the right side of the court, and you know I think we have three right sides that will compete hard for that this year, and I think we'll have different styles of attackers than we've had in the past. Uh, but I think we can get the same production out of them. New and exciting talent is also being added to the roster, which includes five new freshmen who will be key to Team 55. I think the scariest thing is just it's for real now, you know, and, and the expectations are high and there's going to be a lot that they're learning. A little bit more detail oriented than we've been up to this point. So I think, you know, sometimes when you're coming from high school, it's not trained as specifically as we as we train it. Like we've already elevated ourselves through spring with the returners, but the five even bring a little bit more spunk to it. Kayla McClinton and Ember Canty both return for their final season as the starting middle blockers for MSU Denver. I'm super excited. I mean, I've had her for five years now and we push each other in ways that some people might think are crazy or if other people probably heard the things we say, they probably think we hate each other, but we absolutely love each other. Oh, I'm not excited at all. I'm just kidding. Um, I love Ember. Like we've just, you know, like we talk about each other all the time, but there's just so much love and competition between us, which is healthy. And I'm just really excited to be able to play with her one more time. With the two-time All-American returning for her final year, Riley Ladke has no doubt in her mind that a national championship can be a reality. Continuing to instill belief into these like newbies coming in and letting them understand that we can go win a national championship and we are close, like we are there, and it's something that's feasible. It's not some far-fetched idea. So instilling that belief into like this into Team 55 that we can and we will go get it. Team 55 is ready to do the little things, to keep showing up every day, and doing it anyway to keep pounding the stone to make history this 2023 season. We've talked about it and broke it down a lot, but I think a lot of it comes down to enjoying the present moment, um, because if you're focused on pounding the stone, you're n you never know when the stone's gonna crack. But if you keep going, you keep cranking at it, it's, it grants beauty in knowing that one day it will. You know, And even if it doesn't tomorrow or in the near future, as long as you can stay focused on the present moment, you can enjoy the process while you do it. 